skal vi et helt annet sted. Vi skal for nest siste gang til USA, hvor vår reporter Åsmund Brøvik har vært nå i to uker. Vi skal til Buffalo Bills rike. God morgen, Norge. Vi er her ved Buffalo Bill sin grav. Han som reiste rundt i Amerika og også i Europa med sitt Will West Show. Han hadde med seg indianer og så videre og underholdt på den tiden. Det er snart 80 år siden han døde nå og ligger altså begravet her rett utenfor Denver. Og det sier seg om han at ingen hadde større humor enn han. Og det sier også at han var misunt av andre menn og han var elsket og bortskjemt av kvinner. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. What do you know about Buffalo Bill? Uh, William Cody received the, the name Buffalo Bill from the fact that he was hired by the Kansas Pacific Railroad, which was being built to the west, to hunt, shoot buffalo to feed the workers who were building the railroad. Later, uh, when he died, uh, he apparently was supposed to have been buried up in Wyoming at the town named after him. However, the people in Denver wanted him buried in Denver. He was a famous personality and so he is buried here and in fact there is a story that they poured concrete over his casket where he was buried so that the people of Cody, Wyoming could not come at night and steal his body. Will you say that um, the way he treated the Indians at that time in the shows, that he kind of misused them or did uh, entertainment on, on the white man's uh, premises? I think by today's standards, maybe they were used, might be the term. By the standards that time, I don't think you would say that at all. He was actually, he was a friend of many Indians and Indian chiefs even though he was also involved in fighting Indians in some instances. <laughs> okay, thank you much. Okay, very much, welcome sir. to Colorado. Yeah. <laughs> vi skal også, også se hvordan uh, vi kommer uh, overens med indianerne. Vi skal reise opp til uh, South Dakota og uh, bli med på indianefest i dagens Amerika. I områdene Colorado, Wyoming og Sør Dakota på vår vei til Rapid City hvor vi dro for å se indianernes årlige nasjonale finaler i rodeo, er det et rikt dyreliv. Bøfflene har vært en truet dyreart, men nå får de gå i fred i flere nasjonalparker. De flotte dyrene er imidlertid svært lunefulle, og når vår fotograf gikk litt ekstra nærme for å få gode minne med seg hjem, gjorde han det i full forståelse om at de kunne angripe når som helst. Vår fotograf ble vel godtroende overfor dyrene etter sitt fredelige møte med bøfflene. Oksene i rodeo-showet var imidlertid ikke fullt så fredelige i dag. Når klovnen mistet grepet på showet, måtte vår fotograf ta beina på nakken til publikums store fornøyelse. Her etter kun kalt Speedy fant han ut at det var best å overlate støytene til de påmeldte. Hvem skulle vel tro at det fantes en indianer med norsk blod i konkurransen? Ved siden av rodeoen holdt han gudstjeneste for indianerne. Jeg var raised under traditional beliefs. Mine onkels var alle traditional, var medisinmenn og sånt. Og jeg var brukt opp i de linjene, men det var ikke noe reelt power der å overkomme alkoholisme i min liv. 
the angers and the lusts that I couldn't control. But when Christ came in and his love and his power, man, there's nothing to it. So you don't feel that you have kind of stepped over to the white man's uh, religion? No, uh, Jesus wasn't a white man. Jesus was God, and he was, he was more he, he was more colored like me than he was he was you. <laughs> he had dark hair, he had dark hair, and he was a, a man of dark uh, Oriental type uh, breed. But you have a little Norwegian color in your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I reckon that might go back to my great grandma. She come from Norway, come across on a boat, met my granddaddy who was a bucking horse rider, at the turn of the century, and got married and all that. And of course. My granddad, his name was Wager, and he stood six foot tall. She was about four foot eight. She wasn't a big Norwegian. <laughs> but she ruled the house with a Norwegian hand. <laughs> so what was her name? Olsen, of course. <laughs>